That thing looking like a snack. Man, damn ready to attack. What up, Pada Gang? It's your girl, Rachel Bada, and I'm back for another video. And yes, I am with a special, special, special announcement. Drinking. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna start that again. Before I do it, what I need to do is check what I'm actually recording. So I'm in collaboration with. Well, I mean, the box is a little bit damaged, so I can't even do that whole presentation thing because it's not that type of hard. So this is Supernova here. Yes, I am going to show you the box just so you guys can see it. Just purely for the purpose of the video, so you guys can see it. Obviously, I have to slay my hair. I want to show you guys how to slay my hair. I don't know what title this is going to be, so I'm not going to say anything right now, just in case. So I'm going to show you guys how the hair looks like. So the hair that I got was... I'm not too sure, I think it's Malaysian, I don't know, but I just know it's a 13 by 4, um, 13 by 4 wig, so I've got a whole wig unit, so 13 by 4, if you, some of you guys may not know, it is basically a frontal, but it's 13 by 4, so the, the width is 13 um, inches, and then the depth is by 4, so 4 inches, depth, so i got body wave, well, see you guys already know how this girl. So I got this body wave hair. Um, super, super cute, guys. Look at it. Look at, look at it. Look. I'm tired of this phone just going off. It's not every day. Sometimes chill. All right. All right. You guys can see this is not an ordinary wig, by the way. Let me just let me just show you the secret side because some of y'all don't even know. Because obviously a lot of you guys have have literally caught on to wigs and wig glass and the frontals and the lace and all that stuff. So obviously we have to upgrade, you know. So what we're doing is we're upgrading. That's what we're doing. So this is obviously not a normal lace frontal. So this one is the fake scalp. So obviously as you guys can see, this is how the scalp looks like, and obviously this is the lace. Um, obviously it makes sense to put the lace before the beforehand because obviously we ain't trying to look fake out here. So I'll show you guys, let me go in close in depth just to show you guys how the scalp looks like. So it actually imitates scalp, it actually looks like scalp, obviously it's not my complexion. But obviously what we got to do is we're going to act like it's my complexion. Um, and I believe that they actually um, do different complexions, but obviously somehow they didn't get my one. So this one looks really nice because obviously as you guys can see, it's you can't see no knots at all. So it just looks like it's grown from the scalp. Uh, as Obviously as you see lace, you can see knots, whereas like the scalp you can't see that. Yes, I'm going to try it on and show you guys how it actually looks like. What else? Before I even start just freestyling. Um, so they gave me lashes, which obviously clearly I'm definitely going to be wearing. But it's cute. Thanks for the nice gesture. Um, they gave you a band, obviously just for adjustables. If you want to adjust your band. Say now you've got a smaller head than you expected. Um, and obviously they gave you a wig bag, which is super cute. I really like this wig bag. I definitely want to be using this. Well, back, wig bag. I've got a few wig bags, but obviously it's not enough. I got I need more for my collection. Cute. So guys, I'm actually over this. I'm, I'm actually over. This. I'm gonna stop this video because clearly they just don't want me. Obviously, I'm gonna show you closely inside what's actually how it looks like. So it's got the um, it's got the um, combs over here, just so you can obviously hook it onto your hair. Um, and also got a comb in the back as well and obviously it's got the tracks at the back which is obviously you can't really see the tracks but, um, and obviously it's got the lace as well I always keep the lace handle because it's easier for me to just pull it on um, my preference obviously some people cut it off I just leave it on it's not going to be seen anyways okay I forgot to mention guys you don't actually need a cap but purely for this purpose of the video because obviously my hair my braids aren't looking presentable I'm just going to wear the cap but well, you don't necessarily have to so let's go let me show you guys how it looks like on Without me gluing it on or whatever, I'll just show you guys how it looks like on. Let me position it correctly. This looks super cute. I showed you on Snapchat, guys, and obviously y'all y'all saw me on Snapchat. Um, and I just have to let you guys know it's a wig. It's actually a wig, so uh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, get in there. Like. <laughs> Anyways, enough with this whole animated. Oh, by the way, I think this hair is 20 inches, or if it's 24, I'm, I'm gonna leave it in the description below because if I'm wrong, I apologize. Yeah, I don't know, but I just know that it's body weight. Um, yeah, so it comes up to just like my bra length, kind of. 
yeah super cute i really like this already i can see i could do like different styles with this one it's gonna be my everyday wig yeah i apologize so yes this is how the hair looks like just straight off just out of, the, out of the packaging obviously not it's not been customized nothing like that it's just like out of the packaging um it does look pre-plucked already so i wouldn't really need to do as much um if you want you can also um bleach the knots at the front because obviously the knots can the knots are quite visible um or you can just put foundation on at the bottom if just the same time um in this case i'm literally put foundation on getting okay, happy i really really like this so far and i want to show you guys how i customize this wig okay okay let's go hope so hope so so guys i'm literally just taking off the wig quickly just to show you guys exactly how the scalp looks like because obviously this is not my normal wig this is something completely different so as you guys can see this has it is thicker in terms of material because obviously it's got um it's got different materials underneath it. It's got netted material. So I think it's got like two or three layers of netted material underneath that, as you guys can see it. And then I want to give you guys a close up view if it wants to stay in focus. Look how natural that looks. So I'm going to show you guys in comparison. So I'm going to part, I'll do a quick parting and I want to show you guys. So if you guys can see the difference between the netting, that's the netting and then that's the actual scalp. You can see the difference so it's nice just to have that they have they have like a lay, leeway of netting just obviously so you can freestyle and then you have the lace over here which doesn't look as harsh it looks super cute so guys i want to quickly go tweeze um this wig just obviously purely for you know the video it doesn't look, it's really pre-plucked already so it doesn't really need to do as much tweezing but just for the purpose of the video i'm going to show you guys how to tweeze um and uh yeah so let's go this is how the wig looks like i'm just gonna zoom in just so you guys can see it a little bit okay so this is how the wig looks like i'm just gonna use a rectile comb just to part a bit of the hair forward i'm doing it purely to my hairline obviously you can tweeze it to your hairstyle your hairline but obviously this is how i'm doing it to my hairline oh i'll also make sure make sure the tweezers are facing this way when you tweeze so it's tweezing away rather than grabbing because if you grab it from this way you're grabbing a lot more hair than if you're doing it this way so you want to do it from this way which is the angle from here pointing towards this way just so you're grabbing one strand and it's more precise as well so you're grabbing it from the root rather than just a chunk of hair and just pulling it away tweeze away it gives it more of a better seamless effect rather than you can still see knots on the hair so parting the hair forward because you don't want to over tweeze it and i'm just literally part tweezing some of the hair behind i'm literally tweezing where the transition of the um lace and the scalp fake scalp is my sides are fuller are quite full but not as full as this so me she's got a tweeze and she's just freestyling as i go i've got a low hairline so what i don't want to do is i don't want to over tweeze this part so i'm just going to leave this section here and i'm just going to tweeze behind it because my hairline is low so i don't want it to come across as really thin and it's just lace tweezing away and obviously this is the air flap area so what i'm going to do is just tweeze downwards just so i'm not tweezing away from the hair and just like taking too much off so i'm just going to tweeze downwards like that so as you guys can see some here Let me show you guys how it looks like so far. This is how it looks like so far. Just thinned it out a little bit. Obviously, I wanted a gap between the hair and the thing. And yeah, this is how it looks like. It looks really good. I like it. I'm loving it so far. So I want to put on my head and show you guys. Oh, by the way, my nails are from Trap Nails. Super cute. I want to cut the um, lace, the frontal off camera and then obviously i want to show you guys it on my head as a result so far so good so guys 
Um, I'm back, so yes, I'm literally gonna glue this and show you guys how I literally glue it. Glue it. I use my got to be glue. This is the standard got to be glue. Um, it looks mashed up right now, but it's, it's, it's what it is. It does the work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray um, the got to be glue two layers and then blow dry it and then stick it onto my head. Just um, yeah, that's literally what I'm gonna do. So um, be right back. I need to get my blow dry. I forgot about that. So like I said guys, I'm just gonna push the hair back. Obviously my dome cap is, uh, not my dome cap, my wig cap is literally behind my hairline as well. I just don't have to do it on my hairline. As you guys can see, if you see closely, I got that hair there. But yeah, so uh, let's go. So I'm just gonna spray first layer on, blow dry it. <laughs> Spray it again. It's a little bit tacky, and then I'm literally just gonna drag my hair forward. Put it like that. Put it on top. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm just gonna put it on top like that. Blow dry a little bit. Hold one section. So I'm just gonna be using the edge, the the back back section of this razor blade, razor comb, brow razor. Sorry, and then I'm just gonna use it to flatten it because I don't have my tie. So far it's looking really good. It's looking seamless so far. Obviously I need to do the rest of it and glue it on. And I wanna see the results. So yeah, let's go. So guys, you can also obviously customize it again. Obviously I've done it to my hairline. So what you, what, what you can do is cut it. So rather than it being like too full like this, you can cut it to your hairline. That's the easiest way, so you can also start it again and again and again. So, like I like I showed you guys, like obviously this is where my hairline it she stops, so I can just cut this flap, this extra flap, just so it doesn't look too forward. Um, yeah. So guys, I have glued on this frontal, and Laura's looking a bit of a hot mess right now, but you know we we'll move on, we we'll move. So guys, I'm literally just going to part it and just show you guys how it just looks like. This is how it looks like. Obviously, this is a silk face scalp parting. Yeah, be right back. So, guys, obviously the hair's been ruffled up, but this is how the hair looks like so far. Obviously, I haven't styled it, so it's looking like a mountain. Um, but I'm really, really, really impressed by the silk base scalp. Look how natural that looks. That looks so natural. It looks so natural. Um, use my Remington curling wand. Yeah, hold on. Okay, still heating up. Press down the parting just so it's literally not like a hill. I mean, it looks like it's actually coming from my head rather than coming from a hill. Yeah. That's it. I want you guys to see it in its natural form, in its natural state, you know what I'm showing. But I'm really impressed. Well, you guys can judge and say if you like it or not, but I'm not gonna do any hair on this. Um, wig not really feeling to do baby hair this time okay cute i think it's really cute i like it what do you guys think hope you guys enjoyed it also the switch this guys watch this video please give a thumbs up share watching friends and family if you did like this video also all the information for this hair is going to be in the description below Show some love and show, show them that I said you want to go. And uh, yeah, I really like this hair. Really, really, really feeling this silk fake scalp. It looks really natural. I don't even have to put product on it at this point. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, smash a thumbs up. And yeah, share it with your friends and family. Share it with your friends and family. See you guys in a bit. Bye, guys.